Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren. Today's video, we're going to be going over some of my favorites for the fall. Fall is fast approaching and I have to say, when it comes to style, I would say I love the fall fashion for sure i love layering i love wearing blazers i love wearing like the light coats leather coats things like that um, i'm definitely sad that the sun sets a lot quicker but i love fall fashion and in general like i'm gonna be super basic but i love pumpkin spice lattes um, i love pumpkin smelling candles i love all that stuff first i think i'll start with all my amazon things first because there's a few. So first off, these earrings that I'm wearing right now, these are the Bottega dupes. Um, they are like these really extra large teardrop shaped earrings. I'm sure that you've seen a lot of the influencers wearing them. Um, I really do like them. They're very light. They are hollow, I believe, um, and they're really comfortable. They have a smaller size too, if you're not into the really big size, but I think it's a statement. So when I have my hair back and I'm like, if I'm not gonna wear maybe like a lot of necklaces, I think that these are perfect. Um, I got these during Prime, I wanted to say, I will link everything. I have an Amazon storefront now, so I will link that. But I wanna say that these were under $20 Canadian, and I believe they are gold plated too. So these are my first, I've just been, I've honestly been loving these. Um, if they're a little bit out of your comfort zone, like I said, there's a smaller pair. Um, and then my hair tie, I wanna show you these too, because I have it in right now. But I picked up these, the set of scrunchies. It just says 18 pieces of small satin hair accessories in nine colors. I find with these, because I have really thick hair, I only need to wrap these around twice and it fits perfectly. These also don't leave that little sort of like kink in my hair either. I find that these ones work really well. Other things from Amazon, my lashes. Oh shoot, I have an Amazon package actually over there. Let me go and get it. All right, I'm editing the video right now and I don't know where the clip went. Um, I guess I ran and got the package and then forgot to hit record. Anyway, these are the lashes that I love and I'm wearing them in the video. They look really full but they're also natural. I don't know how to explain it. Um, you can let me know but these are the ones that I'm wearing in the video. I probably bought like five or six packages of these. It's always cheapest on Amazon. These are my strip lashes. This is the best. This lasts so long. It's by Kiss. It's called Lash Couture and it says the super strong strip lash adhesive in black. It has the brush style applicator. Let me see if I can do this with one hand without getting it everywhere. You can see, so it's really easy to use and it um, gets tacky fairly quickly. So you can put them on your um, lash line um, without having to wait a few minutes. And then sometimes I do the cluster lashes under my natural lashes. And then these ones, I use a separate glue. These ones usually last for about three to four days. I know some girls say it can last a week. It doesn't last a week for me. This is a brand that I like. It's um, H I G U. And then these ones as well, I've used once and I really like them, but you can see that these ones are sort of, they look like strip lashes, but they're clusters. And I really like these. The only thing I don't like so much is that they can, I don't know if you can tell and tell here, they do have a little bit of a sheen to it. And then this is the bond that I use. So it is by fad lash. It has the bond on one side and then the lash seal on the other. Moving on. I have a fab fit fun box. I am so excited. I used to film a FabFitFun unboxings on my channel. If you're an OG subscriber, you might remember, but I think there may be a couple up. I've privated most of them, but I was subscribed to FabFitFun for about three years. I stopped mid-COVID because the delivery people weren't delivering to the door anymore. They're just leaving it in the mail room or like outside on the street and then things were just getting stolen. If you're on the fence, just give it a go. Honestly, it's so, it's fun, like FabFitFun. It's so much fun, but if you are new, it is a subscription. So you get four boxes a year, like it's a seasonal subscription. So this is the fall box. Um, I do have a code. So if you want to save 20% off your first box, I will link it here. I think it's just my name, but I will also leave the link in my description. So you get to choose your products in here and the products are always going to be full size, whether that's 
beauty, health, wellness, fashion, fitness. There's like a large variety. And like I said, you do get to customize your box as well. So that also makes it fun. It's full of so many goodies in here. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is a waist pack. So this is one of my customizations. I can't remember what else you could have got. Everything in here retails for over $300 American. Um, and like I said, you can save 20% off your first box. So um, this is by the brand Obey, I believe, because there's an accent, a goo on that. Um, it's a waist pack and it's in this beautiful olive green, which I think is perfect. So if you have the Lululemon one, then you probably like know what, how waist packs work, but I tend to wear them across the chest. It's so cute, I love it. Hi Bean. I love it. I think it's perfect. Like I said, you can wear it on your like waist or you can wear it kind of up top here like that. Um, oftentimes they also have flash sales. So if you miss out on getting um, one of the items during their flash sale, during their flash sales, they'll often have some pieces from prior boxes so you can pick it up. So it's fun because it's also just giving you access to different discounts throughout the year. I used to spend so much money on the flash sales. I picked up a ton of um, Dr. Paracone, is that what it's called? No, Paracone MD products, which are crazy expensive at Sephora. I remember I picked up like a couple of the plasma creams, um, one of the no makeup makeup things as well, and I think they were like 70% off. Let's continue on. I know I picked up skincare. I have two skincare items in here. The first one is by Glow Recipe. I am a skincare fanatic. I have always been, ever since my mom got me washing my face, I think in like grade three with ponds. I remember that. Um, so this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum Deep Hydration and Glow. I have a really dehydrated skin. I would say it's more so like dry. Um, I try and drink a ton of water, but this is what it looks like here. This in itself, I think is pretty expensive. This in Canada is $59 already. So like these two items, even with the conversion, like USD to CAD, like these pay for your, this pays for your box already. Um, and then I also, okay, this one I know is really expensive. This is by Murad. And as someone that uses items that are only cruelty free, like skincare and like body care and everything. I only use cruelty free. They always have cruelty free options. I think every option they had this fall was honestly cruelty free. So this is by Murad and this is the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. It's 50 mils, which is pretty standard. Okay, this in Canada is 106 Canadian. So this like, I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't understand how you can get so many good deals. And then the next thing I picked up right is by, I think it's pronounced Cuccio. Um, it is the Botanicals and it's the Self Care Hand and Body Wash in Sandalwood and Sage. This was another one of my choices. Um, I love soaps. I don't know if you know this. Oh, it smells good. It smells kind of minty. I don't think there's any mint in here. It said, Sandalwood and, sandalwood and sage. So um, I might, I don't know if I'm gonna use this as soap or body wash. It does smell really nice. So um, I'm excited for this. So I picked out the Summer Fridays, the Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige. And here's the one I already have. So I had to get a backup of it. I love this. I didn't get onto the hype of this until much later, like this year. I know everyone has been in love with this lip balm. It is so good. So definitely recommend it if you haven't tried it. The price of this in Canada is $32.50. <sighs> you guys, I'm losing my mind here. Okay, and then the last item that I got is by, I haven't heard of this brand before. It's called Euphoria. And this one was different. Um, it's, it says BYO blush, bring your own blush, but it's a color changing blush oil. <gasps> I'm so excited to try this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the packaging is green, as you can kind of see there. It says Euphoria. Um, let me see if it has a smell. It doesn't have a smell. It's fragrance free, so that's cool. I'm gonna put it on my hand for now. 
and see what happens. The sun has literally disappeared. I'm sorry. I'm in the dark. I don't know if you can tell now, but I feel like it's so dark. And then what do I do? Do I just let it sit? Do I rub it in? Dab two dots. Oh, that wasn't a dot. <laughs> on each cheek and blend with a brush keep applicator clean don't apply directly on lips okay well i just applied it onto my hand and i don't have a brush but i do have um my fingers oh you can kind of see the color is developing it's like a pink that's cool this reminds me of my childhood remember with those lip um, the roller lip balms that would like change and adjust. That's cool. I'm excited for that. Those are all the items in my FabFitFun box. So definitely check them out. Like I said, if you're hesitant, just try it. Just give it a try. And as well, if you say you see the preview for the boxes, because they all always give you like little spoilers and say you don't think it's for you, you can also choose to swap that month and just get credit and you can shop, like I said, the member access sale. Such an amazing deal. So I'm super happy. Thanks to FabFitFun for sending me this box. Again, it's not sponsored, but I will leave everything down below in case you want to join in the fun. Moving on, my camera died. I'm filming on my phone. Hopefully it'll be okay. It's the iPhone 14 Pro. I feel like it should be all right, but the sun is also setting. So let's try and get this done quickly. I have to show you my puzzle bag. This is just not a fall favorite. This is a life time favorite um but i want to show you it in particular because they are discontinuing it so if you are thinking about getting the puzzle bag you better get it soon because soon it's going to be gone which i don't know why loewe is doing that i it blows my mind i feel like it's an iconic shape candle really quickly i want to show you so this candle that i have here in the back is by this brand Vera Vera Loon. It's a Canadian brand. I believe they're based out of Montreal. Um, this is in the smell grove. It's blood orange and bergamot. It's a woman owned brand as well. This is amazing because, well, it smells good, but I got a refill for it. So they sell their refills separately. So once it's done burning, you can reuse that little um, candle holder. You could also use it after when you're done. If you want to, you could use it as like a little planter. You could put jewelry, you could just, it's so beautiful. It's like this beautiful gray ceramic. This one, which I'm so excited for fall, it is called Iced Chai. It's clove and vanilla. It smells like a dream. So this is what the refill looks like. And I love the fact that you can just buy refills. How smart is that? The shoes I anticipate wearing in the fall, you can see they're dirty. That's why I'm keeping it on top of a box. Um, I don't want to touch it, are my gazelles. I really love the look of the gazelles, but I feel like in the fall time with a blazer, uh, chunky knit sweater, baggy jeans, I feel like the gazelles are really good for that. Um, as well, I have my new pair of Vejas here. I haven't worn them yet. I still need to spray them down. I've been just trying to get the most use out of all my sandals before the weather turns a little bit cooler and I can't wear them, but I love these. You can tell I love black and white. And then clothes. So we're gonna start with t-shirts. So the t-shirt I'm wearing right now is from H&M. It is by far one of the best quality pieces from H&M I've ever found. It's very comparable to, I would say, like my Aritzia ones by Wilfred Free or even by Babaton. It's very similar actually to my Essentials, my Fear of God Essentials um, t-shirts that I wear all the time. It's oversized. Um, I do like when the sleeves are longer so you can roll it. It just adds something a little bit extra. I picked it up in the white so you can see how oversized it is. I get mine in an extra small and it's massive. It's also wrinkled right now, as you can see. I have it in the white as well as the gray. This top by Aritzia, it's by Denim Forum. It is, I wanna say, it's the, is it the 90s? The 90s relaxed denim shirt. I will link everything down below. Um, I have this one, I think in the seven years picture at blue, love this, wore this so much in the summer with like bike shorts, um, rompers, like the divinity romper, um, as well as with like 
leggings, so I think it'll be really good. It's just good to throw on top of a very basic outfit to add a little bit of something extra. Moving on to jeans, I have two pairs and they're both mid-rise. For me, because I'm only 5'4", mid-rise hits like a high-rise. It hits like at my belly button or a tiny bit lower. Um, so the first pair I have, I got on major discount from Aritzia. If they still have it in stock, I will list it is by A Gold E and they are called the Kai jeans. Again, they're a mid-rise, but they are a straight. If you are 5'4 or shorter, this will work for you. Um, it's the perfect length. You don't need to get it altered. It's such a nice black as well. These are also another mid-rise. They have the button fly, which I prefer button fly as opposed to zip fly, A Gold E or a zip fly, the ones I have. Um, but these ones have a tiny bit of distressing as you can see the back pocket but also on the upper thigh there um, but not too much to the point where i feel like you couldn't get away with wearing these to work at least i could um these i got in a size 25 they're both size 25 this I would size down and these are a little bit big so I do need to wear a belt with them. These are amazing. These are more of, they're still like a straight leg, but they are a little bit wider. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, I can. So you can see there, like even though they are a straight leg, they are a tiny bit wider than the A Gold E. I will always recommend a good blazer. This one is the new agency and this is from Babaton. I have three of these now, I think, but I definitely like this taupey color the best. I get mine in a size small. I would say it's good, if, especially if you're planning on wearing something like a hoodie or a thicker um, sweater or chunkier sweater underneath, but I love it. It is definitely long. It is oversized, but not so much so like not like the vogue blazer which is really oversized so i do like this it is lined i get the one that is made from wool as well i would always suggest the ones made from wool and then you also need a classic trench this one's from babaton they don't make this one anymore um but i love it any trench will work honestly it doesn't need to be this one um, but I feel like this color is always going to be a good choice. And then last but not least, a leather jacket. This is a pricey one. This is mine from Acne Studios. It is also like a minty green gray color. It's hard to describe it. It's really beautiful, especially with all black. Um, so if I wear a black t-shirt and black jeans, I think it looks really good, but I've also worn this with just the, um, I think it's by Wilfred, or no, by Babaton, just like the plain black slip dress underneath and this over top, not even having to wear it, but just putting it on your shoulders. I will say that the acne jackets are extremely heavy. It's a workout. This is so heavy and you'll get really hot in it. That's why I don't ever wear this during the summer. Okay, so that is everything. I will leave all the links down below. I'll leave my Amazon storefront as well as the info for FabFitFun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.